You know, in years past, the only thing scarier than a Halloween mask woo, might have been Texans Jets on primetime national TV. But this is actually a pretty good matchup this year. And this Thursday night, Halloween night, it should be a fun game to watch as well. And I do think there's a money-making opportunity. Free play winner for you as we put our 5-1 and one Thursday night free play video run on the line. We try to make it 6-1. and one. That's coming up for you in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And yeah, I started doing every Thursday night prime game for you about a month and a half ago. We have since gone five and one the last six weeks on these free play videos. Let's try to make it six and one this week. And I do think there's some value with one of the sides in this game, and that is the New York Jets. And ding, ding, red flag alert. Woo, Halloween alert. We have a public dog, perhaps, in this game. Now, look, I don't include the Thursday night data in my public... Uh, fade the public video, which goes up every Saturday. But last week, the Vikings were about the most public play of the week. We saw the Rams went out right in that game as a dog. And this week, the public is heavy on the Texans. Now, yes, they're technically a public dog, plus one and a half to plus two. Uh, but they look pretty public regardless. And look, fading the public has gotten hammered the last several weeks. The public has been red hot in the month of October, as they often are. But as I say every week, we use this as a filter. We don't look to play bad teams. I like to fade public dogs because we usually get a quality team. And I do think the New York Jets right now qualify as a quality team. In fact, they had a very misleading loss last week um, against the Patriots. They outgained them almost 100 yards, had the rushing edge, the passing edge, the total yards edge, the first down edge. They outgained them by two yards per play and still found a way to come up a little bit short. Um, I think because of that, we still get some value with the Jets. And the Texans, meanwhile, coming into this season... I did have them kind of pinpointed as a play against team, as a potential overvalued team. And while they're still sitting at the top of their division, they're the only team out of 32 in the NFL this year that has a winning record, but a losing point spread record. And that is significant for a few reasons. First of all, in general in the NFL, if you pick the straight up winner, you get the point spread winner. In fact, of the 32 teams, and there's some that are 500 against the spread, there's no losing team that has a winning spread record. And there's no other winning team that has a losing spread record except for these Houston Texans. So I do think that once again shows that you're paying a premium to back them this season. After going from second worst team in the league to playoffs last year, uh, they have become a bit overvalued. And that's another reason fading the public, I think, does work in this situation. And by the way, talking about that Jets loss last week in New England, how rare was it, you ask? Well, I've got the answer for you. Football Perspective had this on, the, uh, on X earlier this week. The Jets... Scored 20 points, had no turnovers, and held their opponent to under 250 total yards. Since 1940, up until this past Sunday, teams that have done that had won 756 games and never lost. 756 at zero, straight up, until Sunday when the Jets lost 25-22. It's been a bizarro month of NFL football, but I do think this is a spot where fading the public will work. And keep in mind, Aaron Rodgers playing solid football. He had a really good game actually against New England last week, a 111 QB rating, had a 99 rating against the Bills a couple weeks ago. Did not play well in that Sunday night game, but there was also the first game with Devontae Adams in the lineup. He averaged 10 yards per completion on um, reception. Well, he averaged 13 and a half yards per reception with four of them for 54 yards against the Patriots. I think he'll continue to get better and the, his connection with Rodgers will improve. Uh, so that's another reason there is some upside with the Jets here moving forward. And statistically, looking at these two teams, Texans and Jets, not a lot separating the two. Um, Houston on the road this year also has struggled offensively at times. In fact, they're averaging just five and a half yards per pass attempt on the road compared to over seven at home on the fast track in Houston. I think there is something to that. And the Jets' pass defense has been great this year. 5.8 yards per pass allowed and just 4.9 yards per play. The offense has been a weakness, especially running the ball, but their passing numbers are pretty average. And once again, I look for them to improve now with uh, Devontae Adams and Rodgers working together. I think there's some upside with the Jets, and I think the Texans are still being overpriced in the betting market. Once again, the only team out of 32 that has a winning record and a losing ATS record, and they look like a public dog this week now on top of it. Take a look at the New York Jets, minus the 1.5 to minus 2. That kicks off, of course, at 8.15 Eastern Thursday night. Halloween night on Prime. Hey, comment below. You dressing up for Halloween? If so, what's your costume? What's a great sports costume for this year, 2024, Halloween-themed? I do truly read the comments and I reply back. And this is one of my favorite times of the year with the Halloween costumes coming out on Thursday night. This should be a fun prime game in New York City. Hey, if you're not dressing up this year, what's one of your favorite Halloween costumes ever? Maybe your best sports-related costume. Um, Tim Donahue, the NBA official, I know a few of you have dressed up like him over the years. That's a sports betting costume. You get extra bonus points 
if you tie in sports and betting into the same costume. Hey, seriously, though, let's have some fun. Comment below. I read the comments. I know many of you do as well, and I do reply back. Thumbs up, like. If you're liking these free play videos, I will keep them coming. Comment on that as well, and be sure to give the video a, free f a thumbs up. That really helps keep the uh, vid videos plentiful here on Wager Talk TV. And once again, if you want my personal best bets for these weeknight games when I do have them, most of these games don't qualify. That's why I give them out to you as free play videos. But sometimes they make the client card. But, of course, the Saturday and Sunday card is where the college and pro football best bets shine. But don't forget about the NBA. The daily sports are here. NBA's here. College Hoops starts here in a couple weeks. Now is a great time to be an All Sports All Access member. All Sports, as we round out October, up 170 units already in 2024, and there's still two months to go. Basketball, college up starts in a few weeks. The NBA already off to a 3-0 perfect start, and that's not a surprise. Nobody has won more units in the NBA in the history of wagertalk.com than I have, including over 200 units won the last three years alone in just the NBA. I bring that up because I know many of you are locked up for the full football season, but you can add the NBA this week for just $149 for a 30-day package. It's a great way to try out my number one ranked NBA best bets for just about $5 a day. Once again, 30-day NBA package for just $149. No promo code needed. It's on my page this week only at wagertalk.com. I also have the SM365 promo still active, which gets you a full one-year all sports with an instant $811 discount. Why $811? Because that gets it down to exactly $99 a day, $3, uh, $99 a month, $99 a month, $3 a day, just about a dollar per play with that instant $811 discount. But you got to have a promo code for that one, SM365. You use that at checkout for the one year all sport, all access big boy package, which gets football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro every day and night for the next 365 days and nights. Look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes, the special offers are on my page right now all week long. Go there, check it out. Check out the daily free plays I post throughout the week as well. Bonus free plays on my page. Also, you can see the last 20 best bets recapped every day. Click on any of them to read the analysis afterwards as well. It's a great resource for those of you that are deciding which package works for you. Don't worry about it. Every client gets the exact same best bets. So whether it's a one day, a one month, a one year, you're getting the same best bets that I am personally using each day. Same games are up 170 units this year, all sports. Check it out. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media as well, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And I know you noticed, this isn't a Halloween costume. No, it is a new hoodie, though. The Wager Talk hoodie was getting so much love that they sent me a gold sheet hoodie. And as a special offer this week, the gold sheet is yours for just $5. Go to wagertalk.com slash gold sheet and get this week's edition for just $5. But you got to have a promo code, Gold Week 5, the number 5, Gold Week 5, gets you this week's gold sheet for just $5 at wagertalk.com. Hey, and if you message customer to support to get it for the whole year afterwards, tell them that Steve Merrill's hoodie sent you to wagertalk.com. And by the way, if you want to upgrade with any of these special offers or promo codes, you have an existing package, like for example, if you have a basketball package and you want to add more, or if you're football only and you want to upgrade to that all sports, all access, one year special, Message customer support. Let them know they will give you a prorated discount, which gets the savings down even more. Savings up, price down even more is probably the better way to say it. But seriously, customer support is the best in the business at wagertalk.com. They will take care of you and work out any package you need, including those upgrades. And once again, they're helping my wardrobe. They sent me this nice gold sheet hoodie. And I once again, gold sheet for just $5 this week with that promo code GOLDWEEK5 at wagertalk.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Comment below, thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for instant alerts so you know when Fade the Public videos up this weekend. And stay tuned here for some more great free play videos, including your Thursday night college football game to Lane Charlotte. I've got an over-under selection free in that video. Be sure to stay tuned. A lot of free play videos coming up next.